Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm and we're back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. And this video looks a little bit different and that is because it is. Uh, and we're gonna get to that in just a second. But I do have a friend of ours, which is Nabiki. Uh, she's in the house tonight and uh, she's going to help us out with backyard chicken. Uh, you can kind of see that at the bottom there. And, uh, but we've got some good information for you. So first and foremost, uh, welcome. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello, um, my real name is Brandon, but I, online I go by Nabiki and I go by Nabiki on the Backyard Chicken Forums. Um, I've always been interested in self-sufficiency and I've been gardening for about 15 years. Uh, I always thought that a couple of chickens would be good addition, but you know, I live with somebody who hated birds. Um, a little over three years ago, my roommate of 20 years passed away unexpectedly, and I began to think about chickens again. Started researching, and I found that chickens really weren't for me. I remembered a friend of my mother's had raised quail, so I started researching quail, and quail were for me. Uh, they don't take a lot of space, their eggs are used in a lot of Japanese cooking, um, and I thought they would be good for meat as well. I never thought I could kill and butcher them myself, but after finding no one that could do it for me, I learned how. I've come a long way in the last three years, and much of it is thanks to the Backyard Chicken Forum. Um, every time I Googled a question, it seemed like it led, led to the BYC, so that's why I joined. Awesome. Uh, how long have you been a member? Um, I've been a member for about three years now. Okay, awesome. Um, now, a lot of you are probably asking what BYC is or Backyard Chicken. So if you have been watching our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm, or a couple of our other YouTube or uh, Facebook groups or things like that, I'm really big into a community setting. Uh, and I really think that it's not just important to find the answer, but to have a community where you can go and feel comfortable asking those questions and getting good advice. Um, so we're looking at a community setting is is the goal overall um so we've got you know facebook groups and we've got our youtube channel and uh you know we try to do stuff with a bunch of different people but one that you might not know about is byc so nabiki if you could tell us what byc actually is and how does that uh tie into quail okay well byc is an online forum um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with forums a forum is an online discussion site where you can easily search topics you know, categories and threads or individual post topics. Um, BYC known as a place for chickens owners to go and get and give advice, um, but it's so much more than that. There are topics about just about every kind of backyard and pet bird that you can think of. Uh, since we're all about quail, we're gonna focus on the quail forums though. Sure. All right, well, uh... how many members does BYC have uh, and what kind of activity do you see? Well, um, BYC here, there are oh, almost over 460,000 members, close to 25 million topics on there. Uh, there wow. is, yeah, it's, it's a huge forum. Uh, it was originally created back in 1999 by a father who, to chronicle his child's journey with chickens. Um, and then the message boards came into being in late 2000 so people could discuss chickens. In 2004, Rob, who goes by Nifty Chicken, um, he found BYC and joined. In 2006, he took ownership of the site and the current BYC um, was born. And since then, you can just see how much it has grown. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Um, so if you haven't heard about it, most likely everybody else you know has, considering how many members you guys have. That's awesome. Um, now, how do you determine with all those members and all these threads, I'm seeing what 1.4 million um, threads, how many, how do you determine who's giving good advice or whose advice you need to take? <laughs> well, if you have any, in, in, uh, any experience at all with the internet, you know that there's good and bad information out there. Uh, sure. BOSD is no exception. So knowing whose advice to trust is a really good question. Um, you'll notice that some members have medals on their profiles. Uh, so if you have two people who are giving you conflicting advice, take a look at the medals they have. You can see here over um, on the right that they have, I've shown a member with a fair number of member medals. 
So mm -hmm. the BYC Spirit Medal, that means that they've been around the board for a while and are known for giving some good advice. If they have the BYC Educator Medal, that means that they have a lot of experience, um, often decades of experience, and that they really know what they're talking about. So if you're not sure who to believe, look for that BYC Spirit, or better yet, that BYC Educator Medal. Okay, so I've got a question for you. So the let's just say the BYC educator. Mm -hmm. uh, now, are you kind of ranked on there, or is it depending on how much advice you give and the feedback that's given back to you, or how does that work? Well, it's every quarter um, anyone can nominate people for okay. these medals, and the BYC the members, the administrators, and the uh, moderators, they get, look together and they, they read some of the posts. They look at that member and they decide whether that member gets that medal or not. That's awesome. That's super cool. I, did, I was not aware of that. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, all right. So let me ask you another, another question. Um, I know that I contributed to uh, one of the activities that BYC did recently, and I know that they do a ton. I mean, they host a ton of activities. Can you explain that to them um, and, uh, and maybe go in a little bit more in depth on it? Oh, gosh. BYC is a great place for fun. Um, it's you know good for good information, but it's also a great place to meet people and have fun. Uh, when you look at here, they have a whole entire section on social. So there's to social topics and friends. There's contests. Um, some of the contests have, they have prizes. Some don't have prizes, but the prizes can be anything from a premium feather membership, which means that you can view the site without ads. You have a few other little perks and permissions on the site. Um, you can win eggs, you can win uh, credit gift certificates to the BYC store, calendars. Uh, some of the bigger contests even give away incubators. So wow. there's a lot of fun things. So my Shire contributed some eggs for the Easter hatch along. And so basically there's a thread there where you guess how many, how many eggs are going to get hatched for Easter. And it includes chicken eggs, quail eggs, duck eggs, you know, whatever. So there's total, total quantities and uh, different subcategories. And it's a lot of fun. And this uh, is an on, uh, ongoing thing, correct? I mean, they yeah. do Easter and I mean, President's Easter, Day. Halloween, Thanksgiving, New Year's, right. Christmas, 4th of July. Uh, sure. There's a, a lot of times individual members will do some. So I was looking and I'm still looking for a logo for my for my little mara quail. Um, mm -hmm. And I put out a little contest. Hey, draw me a picture. If you win, I will send you 30 eggs. And I, you know, I didn't end up choosing the winner's logo for my company's logo, but I still, I sent them 30 quail eggs. Sure. And sure. They got to start out on quail, which is fun. That's so a very cool. Can do a contest. Now, I don't remember you mentioning it. Maybe you did, because I'm trying to gather all this information up. But you actually started your YouTube channel, correct? I have just recently started a YouTube channel. I've only done one little video, which is an introduction to BYC, but I'm actually working on another one right now. Well, let me get back to that in just a second, because I do have a question about that. But your introduction to BYC on your YouTube channel, is that more like... Okay, so I am not very tech savvy at all. So once I learn one thing, I don't want to do anything else because I don't know how to do it, right? Um, so BYC is a social platform of some sort, um, but it's going to be a little bit different than other things that people have used, correct? A little bit. Uh, if you're familiar with forums, you know, this uh -huh. may be a different forum software, but forums are forums. The little okay. intro that I did starts with how to create an account and then Excellent. does a little bit of navigation around specifically the quail sites because that's what we're into is we're into the quail. Okay, awesome. Um, and then you're going to probably be doing a couple more videos about BYC possibly. Depending um, on the I'm not sure about doing them on B about BYC. They're going to be more about my journey into self-sufficiency and projects and things so that I'm going to be doing at my new place. You're currently in California. Yes. But you are moving, 
you're in the process of moving. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm in suburbia in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm going to be moving to a small town up in Oregon with half an acre. So I'm going to have a large greenhouse and a lot of fun projects. That's really cool. That's really cool. Um, all right. So I've got one more question for you, and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. But can you give me a few names? Because we did talk about the, the badges, and we talked about getting advice and some things you have to, you know, weigh whether it's good or bad advice. And sometimes it's here or there. Do you have a few names that are in BYC? Uh, and we're talking about quail forms in general, about who to listen to or who to take instruction from? Yeah. Um, one of the things I do want people to not forget is that there are articles and the articles have a lot of good sections. There's even a s article section specifically on quail. Okay. Um, but when we start talking about knowledgeable and notable members, um, I'm sure anybody who's been to your lives has seen Kiki in the comments. Sure. And Kiki is, she's one of the more active members, not just in the quail forums, but overall. She's everywhere on that site. Um, she's getting close to 130,000 messages that she's posted over the years. And she has the uh, highest number of positive reactions on the site. Um, but almost double. <laughs> yes, she's uh, she's got, oh, yeah, oh, she's over 850,000 positive reactions now on her messages. Wow. So she's one of the people who, she can be a little blunt, which is actually, I really like about her. Um, sure. But, sure. But she knows her stuff. In the quail forums, uh, Muddy75 is another one who... Uh, may not be quite as high on the totem pole as Kiki, but she knows her stuff too. She's mm -hmm. also regularly uh, regular on your channels, on your mm -hmm. lives. Um, and uh, I like to think that I'm not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> right. There. So I'm yep. one of the people in the quail forums. Um, you'll, you'll see the people around and if, if Muddy, Kiki, or I tag somebody for advice on something that we don't know, that's somebody that we know has a good idea of how to help. Okay. That's good to know. I do have one more question. What's most points? Most points. Now those, as you post messages um, or get reactions or spend time, you get points. Uh, so for example, uh, if you've got a, if you've received a hundred likes, you get so many points. If you've given a hundred likes, you get so many points. If you've rated so many articles, you get points. Mm -hmm. um, and they add up over time. So sure. you can see Kiki has the most points on the site as well as the most positive reactions and really high up there on the post count. Sure. And we're not just, I mean, these notable members, those are just not quail. That's the overall site. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, that's okay. for the whole site. The quail forums are not as active as the rest of the, you know, as the chicken forums, um, but there are, there's a fair amount of activity. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, I'm actually a member. I'm not as active as I should, but I can't find time to breathe half the time. Uh, but every once in a while, I'll jump on there and uh, I, I get emails saying, hey, you were mentioned. I'm like, oh no. But usually it's good. It's usually it's good. I'm good with that. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, it's a fun thing. And again, everybody, the whole point of this is another avenue that you can go down to be part of a really good community. Um, I know that, I mean, she's already mentioned at least three, I know five or six uh, BYC members show up almost every Sunday and Monday uh, on our YouTube lives. They contribute. Uh, I consider them to be leaders in the community. I think they really do have a desire to help people some might be a little rough around the edges, but they know their stuff and they're trying to help, right? Uh, but oh, uh, it's a great community. Yeah, um, people people are are helpful. If you post a question out there, you will get responses. That's great, and uh, I think that again, I think that our goal needs to be creating these communities, and this is just another avenue. I know a lot of people do not like Facebook. Um, I know a few people that are leaving YouTube and, uh, and BYC is, um, a great avenue that you can go down where you don't have to be a part of that and still get good information and be around like-minded people. Um, those were the questions I have. 
Do you have anything else for us right now? Um, no, but do check out my link on the introduction to BYC. That's going to be down in the description below. Yes. And, uh, I hope that I start posting some videos that are interesting enough for you to follow as well. And it's been Absolutely. great to be a guest here. Yeah, I'm really excited about some of the stuff that you're you're going to start. I think it's I think it's really cool. There's some things that I've been wanting to start that you're going to, and I'm like, well, I'll just learn from her, and then I'll, <laughs> then I'll do it. Yeah, I'm going to start to tilapia. I've got a pond yeah. that I'm going to be, and I'm going to be doing tilapia. Um, huge greenhouse. Um, I'm definitely going to be continuing in with the quail. In fact, in the backward. Uh, backyard chicken forums in the article section um i've written five articles really okay yeah. my That's most very... viewed one is on how to process quail oh yeah there yeah. you go there it's got go. over eleven thousand views and a, and uh, a five star rating so far so i'm really happy oh. with that one that's wonderful and i did see your background i really like those ssc's those are really <laughs> healthy looking ssc's those are gorgeous yeah, they came from they came from you. Okay, I swear I did not know that. I promise. <laughs> Those I, things I, came from you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for sharing. Um, I really hope people check it out. And I should have mentioned this before, but uh, the video that she did to help you, uh, you know, the intro to BYC, we will be posting in the description. So make sure you check that out. And uh, and she's got a lot of really cool stuff planned once she gets moved. And uh, she's got a really good plan. I really recommend subscribing to the channel uh, because I think that uh, I think it's going to inspire all of us to do a little bit more. So uh, thank you very, very much uh, for being here. And uh, if you can, if you have any questions about BYC, comment below um, and we will do our very best to get those answered for you. Okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. see you Thank you very much. Have a great evening.